YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well, today's the big day. The RV shelter's here. The guys are here to install it. So let's go uh, take a look and see how this is done. Oh, no, Tucker, I'm not gonna let you out of the gate. No, you'll go try to say hey and cause me trouble. Yep, yep. I'll let you see it when they're done, all right? Kind of hot on this deck. Got a beautiful day to install. Looks like they got the right ladder. They're measuring to check the squareness before they put down the uh, the bottom edge. Got to get it square first. Getting it square. They said they could haul up to a 42 feet long piece of uh, metal on that trailer they got. Well, I wouldn't. I'm not getting into business or anything. I'm just impressed with it. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. All right, now they've laid out their anchors here to anchor that bottom. What are we going to call it? Bottom rail. They'll anchor it right into the concrete. Now they've added the second section. They're attaching it to the concrete floor. All right, now they got the trusses laid out here. And what they told me is they're gonna put the uh, legs on the trusses on the ground on this one and then stand them up, make it easier. Second, then you know you got it. That's all we yeah. Self tapping well, screws. You don't mind a little color here and there, dude. There we we love the washer, that's what we do. You got it in the pocket. More screws. Oh no screw? Yeah. You got these? No. These are framers, these are ones that's gonna be going on your roof, but this I is just you. blue. So that, that uh, rubber washer keeps the, uh -huh. the water from coming out. Yeah, and that metal, it flattens down and flattens that washer out. So they're attaching the legs to the rafters, and then they'll stand them up to the bottom plate. I so see you got some new type braces here. What are you doing with those? Just for extra support? Yeah, they support your corner support. Make sure you got a good triangle out of it. Right. I wondered how you had the right angle. You know what they're doing? They're putting putting screws in on those support brackets from the other side. 
I thought they were fixing to stand it up. Well, they are fixing to stand it up. So this is how it's done. Oh, it's big. That's one. Yep. Oh, it's gonna be a monster. It'll be big, huh? Too little, too late. Right, let me let me, let me come back. Let me come back. I should come over here. I know what you got to do. This thing leaning? Yeah. Come on up. Yeah, Stand it right on up. Also, they can use the edge of the concrete pad to put the post again so I can stand it. Last one going up. Last one. So that's how it's done. Just about park an airplane in that thing. Small <laughs> Yep. That's what my uncle said when we done his. We did his uh, 11 foot legs, 36 mm -hmm. foot long. And that's what he said. He said, dang, it looks like a damn man airplane thing. Now what I want to know, uh, Mr. Barry, yes, is how you going to get that up there? I got a magic wand. Yeah? What you going to do? <laughs> you going to put this young boy up there and make him do it? Yeah, I carry him up by myself. 
All right, that's, that's what I want to see. Oh, you're going to see it. <laughs> you keep that there, we'll All right. Yeah. 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 All right, now they're setting their ladders up over here. I got to see this. There's a trick to everything, you know. Technique. Let's, let's call it technique. There's a technique for everything to do it right. This is 32 feet long. Now they're resetting their ladders and going up again. I'm going to pull it to the center. And there's your center cap there, the top cap. So the first piece is always the hardest, Mr. Barry, getting it up there. If it's one like this, yes, sir. If it's on short legs, it ain't that bad at all. <laughs> How tall do they make them? Do you use it? Do you go? The tallest one I've done is 16 foot on 16 foot legs. Yeah. All right, here goes the second sheet. Top piece is screwed down. This seems to be one of the most important pieces on here, getting everything level and square. And there she goes. Good group of guys right here. Now they'll move their ladders down to where they can move it up closer to the center. And that piece will slide under the other sh sheet that was already there. Slide down to me. 
sheet number three. Here goes the fourth sheet. All right, now they got the panels all the way across here. We decided to add an extra panel here, but now they're gonna put the, the three sheets on the other side now. All right, now they got that final piece over here on the left-hand side. So now they get up on top and run this. They've got screws on the outer edge like on both sides. But if I get up on top now and they'll it screw it to like each of the cool. rafters. All right, the building's up complete now, but uh, decided to, they brought an extra sheet for the side. Thought They thought that I might could uh, use it. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and buy that. It's going to add an extra $100 to the building. But that will bring the metal down another four feet on this side. Three feet, four feet. And uh, eventually, I plan on bringing it all the way down to the ground. Here goes the last sheet. These guys almost have it. They're putting the trim on the the edges. You see the trim here, and then no trim. Then Tommy, the youngest guy, he's up there putting screws on, bringing the metal down onto the rafters. Almost done. All right, everybody. We've got Barry and Tommy here from Double B Metals in Danielsville. They did a fantastic job here on the RV shelter. Hard working guys. Really, really went way oh, above and beyond what they had to do for me. So guys, can't thank you enough. Thanks, okay. sir. It, it was fun getting okay. to learn how y'all did this. Fun, but uh, appreciate you a lot, and uh, they're gonna start watching the channel, so they say. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank All you, right. sir. Now you can see the, the building, just how tall it really is. Excuse my mess. Got a few things out. I love my camper van Kevin sign. I appreciate that very much. You know who you are. Look how big this is. And uh, I know everybody's going to ask. So the building, I think uh, it worked out to be like a little bit like 2300, 2350. Here's the cover, those 12 foot walls. I don't plan on keeping the tracker up here as a general rule. Here comes Felix. Got the babies out. Tucker and... Oh, baby May May is so sweet on uh, Felix, it's not even funny. But they seem... Wave him up here. Lots and lots of room. Lots of room to get up on top of that RV and do some work if I need to. Oh, Felix just drove up here. All right. What do you think, Felix? This is awesome. This is... That's a lot of room. I didn't expect that much room up on top of the RV. Oh, okay. It's a lot of height, huh? Yeah. And it's so much cooler up under there. My neighbor is working on his motorcycle, so he's revving it here and there. Have a good day at work? Yeah, good day at work. It's Friday. Man, that was cool. So the, uh, the concrete was 2730 and the building worked out around 2350. So it's every bit of 5,000 and just a little bit more. I think it's a good investment. 
Felix will be pulling around the uh, the new RV shelter to get back over to his RV. Isn't this nice? And I may eventually get the uh, the metal to bring this down to the side. I've got neighbors here about 100 150 feet from me that uh, I like to be blocked from. Yep. Tucker, you're true to form. You're already hung up. Nice, nice, nice. Boy, this thing's big. Lots of room. Again, this building is 18 by 32. Felix and I, we got to clean up about, we got to clean up over here a little bit. It's kind of where our junk keeps getting caught and piled up. Just got to keep the, the water and the sun mostly off the RV when I'm here. And we'll give my brother-in-law Bill a great place to work. Okay, everyone. I'm going to end the video right here. What a day. Um, I've moved to car shelter myself before a time or two. Uh, kind of like a big, big puzzle. But I've never seen one put up from the very beginning. So uh, maybe we both learned a little bit today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.